So today we've got one of the biggest episodes in the journeyman history. It's a top of the table clash against Juventus. And then it's Schalke, Champions League, first knockout round. We're going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We're going to beat them both and then move on. Right? Right? I just want to win. I just want to win. I want another trophy. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode 30, I think, of The Journeyman. Club 4. We all know what's going on. And as I said, we've got massive games today, but let's do you a little catch-up. As you can see, things are going remarkably well. After that Roma defeat, that was just annoying. We beat their Empoli 4-2, but then the very next game, Napoli, we beat them 5-3. Crazy game, you think? Yep, yeah, it was much crazier than that. It was 5-2 after 28 minutes. I tweeted about it last night. I thought this is, could be a... 10 all game. No, it's actually just ended 5-3. It's quite a disappointment after the first few minutes. Uh, but our goal scorers were Alvinini, the left back. Blanco, the striker, scored two goals. <laughs> and uh, El Garzi own goal and Lundberg from central midfield got one as well. We then played Palermo in the Tim Cup and Lundberg got a 92nd minute equaliser. Much changed side. Owen played all 90 minutes. Bet barely touched the ball. Uh, then we played them in the league. We beat them 1-0 again. Van Doom scoring the only goal. We're not scoring as many goals recently. I'm a little bit worried. But then we played Fiorentina in the league. Connor up with the 81st minute. I was going to say equaliser. No, actually, we scored in the 81st minute. They literally scored 20 seconds after we scored, which was annoying for the draw. But still undefeated for a while now. And then in the uh, quarterfinal of the Tim Cup, we played Pescara Calcio. And Jean-Claude Van Damme, another striker. Woohoo! Scored the goal. Ochner did get sent off in the 85th minute. for a, It was kind of one of those you're happy about it moments. He was through on goal. Ochner was like, no, and just took him out. Knew he was going to get sent off just doing the job for the team. And uh, then we beat Milan 2-1. Belletti with a goal and Van Doom with the goals. And they had a man sent off in the 58th, 55th minute. And uh, we held on. Pretty close game, actually. We've not been playing the best. Let's look at the league table. We're only three points clear, guys. I thought all those good results. Look at it. Look how good it looks. And then we're only three points clear. If we lose today, we're even on points with Juventus. That's how close this is. We've got a nice gap over... Inter, it's what, eight points. Um, <clears throat> Europe is pretty much guaranteed at this point. We're 19 points ahead. We also have made a transfer. It's just a loanee, just to add a bit of depth, um, which is his name is Antonio Palma from Paris Saint-Germain. We've, we've raided them quite a lot this season for their rejects. But um, he's a 20-year-old Portuguese under-21 international, and he's basically just a backup for Van Doom. That's his main role. We didn't really have enough depth in that position. We kind of had to fiddle about with it, play people out of position. So, and he's actually very good. I wouldn't mind signing him on a permanent. Um, maybe the next club will keep an eye on the poaching situation. Um, Job-wise, not much about at the moment. I've got Oh, okay, God, this one's come up. This is a new one. We've got Malaga in, in La Liga who are rich. I, I'm not going to do it now because... The, this is way too close for winning a fucking league. This is just... I'm going to get this season done um, and then take a job right at the end of the season or the beginning of next season. We're definitely leaving at the end of the season, but I don't want to rock the boat at the moment. Right, so our strikers are scoring the odd goal. They're still not back in form. Blanco scored a couple, got a couple of another assists. Spalletti scored one, but... We need more, boys. This is the big one today. Unfortunately, both our main centre-backs are injured, so <laughs> that's fun against Juventus. Oh, It's not like you need your strongest team or anything to beat them. All right, let's do it. So I just watched the Bournemouth-Man United game. That was a fun game. Um, obviously, Tyrone Mings should have been sent off for stamping on his head, and um, Ebra should have been sent off for elbowing him in the side of the head. Uh, and then the Sermon got sent off for... A little push where Ibra just went down. I was like, that's the guy that gets sent off out of all that. Brilliant. Um, I'm confident we can find a way through. Oh, Juventus also spent about 50 million in the January transfer window as well. So this this is going to be tricky. Um, uh, we drew one all last time. Um, if we pull Mike, I know we can. We can do it. All right. They've got Lemos up front. Let's have a quick look. I always like looking at the striker. No, he's not. Not exceptional. It's called Berardi. We know he's a bit of a legend, and he's still very good. Right. Yeah, but what a result for Bournemouth. Like, 
considering they can't defend at all normally, the fact that they defended with 10 men away against Man United is pretty damn impressive. I'm chuffed for them. It was good. Right, here we go. Away to Juventus. I think we're going to get beat this game. I don't think we're playing quite well enough at the moment. Plus our two centre-backs missing. Who knows? De Pascal's at the moment is actually taking the place of Rita in that right-back position. Go on, Van Doom turns and shoots. Oh, this could be dangerous. <laughs> He's not going to bother getting it. Okay, good. Yeah, De Pascal is, is doing much better than Rita at the moment. Uh, he's actually come good. Rita was actually, I think, tutoring him at some stage, and now he's... The Padawan has become the master. Alvin Inney, ball in. Balletti! Come on, one minute in. Oh, we, uh, this could be a case of scoring too early, I feel. I'm a little bit worried that we've scored, but, you know, you take it. Alvin Inney... Playing as left back while Connor Rupp's injured and banned, which seems to be quite a lot at the moment. Come on. This is it, boys. One minute goal, one and up. We could score 90 goals here. I'll be happy for no more highlights. Thanks. Okay. Free kick, Van Doom. Dinks it near post. Kurt Zuma heads it away, but Pedroshi's there. Plays it to Lundberg. Takes a touch. Plays it into Blanco. The other side. Oh, it's 2-0! Come on, both strikers have scored. Oh, it's Christmas. What's going on? Both our strikers have scored. We're 2-0 up against Juventus. Didn't expect this at all. Look at this. Lundberg. Lundberg has been absolutely recent weeks. Last 10 games, sensation at central midfielder. He's actually taken that, gone, gone ahead of Chris Colo in that position. Thomas Bart Party. Ain't no party like Thomas Party. is back from African Cup of Nations. And he's now retired from international football. And um, but he needs resting. He's I think he played all their games and he need, he needed a rest. I played him for like ten minutes. He's like I need a rest. Oh, here we go. Alvinini space to run into. Can we make it three? Can we near post? Surely Blanco with the third. What's going on? Look how clinical we are. This seems bizarre, but we'll take it. I don't know what's going on. Three nil. Come on. Just hold this till half time. Alvinini with another assist. He's kind of, he's like quite a shit left back, to be fair. But he's proving himself worthy at the moment in the big games. Right. Let's not concede now. I'm I'm still not confident at all. Okay, deflected. Yeah. Okay. Oh. God, what is this game going to do to me? 3-1. 28 minutes gone. Just an, an awkward deflected goal. Tried to clear it. Missed it there. Player hits it. Off the guy's nuts and in. Mancini's nuts and in. It's 3-1. Oh, God. this th Really? Is it going to be 3 They're going to score, aren't they? Oh, that looked like a lunge. Okay, easy. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's 3-2. I thought that was going to be an easy save, but it looped over the goalkeeper. It's 3-2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What is going on? Settle! Settle! I think if any time there was needed a cheeky calm concentrate, now is the time. I've lost where it is. Oh, it's half time. Forget it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. We can't have another half like that. We've still got time to score what, here. Look, we've got time. Belletti. Blanco! Blanco! Oh, that's a poor finish. Blanco, that was the best chance we've had. Okay. Half time. 3-2. What is there to say? What do I do? Just carry on. If in doubt, just shake your head and carry on. Okay, we'll see how this, this second half kicks off. I don't know what's going on here, boys. 3-0 oh, up. 3-0 up after 20. I just, we scored too soon. Apparently we scored three goals too soon. We could easily still lose this game. We are the playing better okay come on oh we need another goal we'd 100% need a Berardi decent ball to Lemos he's only got one man to beat just force him wide force him wide make him shoot from there oh okay okay we're just a free tap in at the back post oh, oh. the most important game of the season and it's thrill after 50 minutes 
Anybody? Why are you running across to the guy with the ball to Pascal's? You're the right back. Be a right back. You should be marking the the guy on the right. Okay, what do we do? Right, Van Doom has been pretty awful. Um, our new guy's taken a knock, so he's not playing. We've got Chris Colo, but he's not really fit. Connor Rupp's back from injury, but we... Yeah, even though Alvin Nini's, I know this is probably a mistake. He's got two assists and he's only playing 7.3. So I'd, other than the assist, I don't think he's done that much. So we're going to gamble a little bit here. Um, I've got nobody. Um, oh, we could play Rita. Rita, that's actually Rita's preferred position as advanced playmaker. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll take a draw like all day long. But even before the match, I would have taken a draw. I don't see it ending this way, though. Calm, concentrate. Oh, I can't even speak. Ten minutes left. Just let let the game do its thing. Oh, they're going to score. Oh, no, no, they are. Oh, no. Great tackle, Connor up. That's what we're talking about, son. Gan again. Get in again. Yes, Connor up. Number two. Two tackles. Belletti turns. He's not got that much on at the moment, but he's got runners. Blanco. Wait, hold it up. Hold it up. Lovely. Lundberg. Rita. Come on, Rita. I know you've been playing right back for the last five years, but just remember, that's what you are. De Pascal's fire it in. Near post. Blanco's there. Play it across. Oh, selfish turd, Blanco. It's like three defenders in the way. Connor up created that move with the two tackles. Can we steal it here? Rita. Floats to the edge. Handball! What? Yes! Penalty! Penalty! Oh, we're shit at penalties. Oh, no, we're shit at penalties. De Pascal. Oh, he, De Pascal. oh he's been sent off. De, 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 De Pascal is guy. He scored his last two, hasn't he? He has scored his last two. Come on. Come on, mate. This is it. This is this is massive. This is just ridiculous. I can't look. Oh, God, it's awful. It's awful penalty. It's an awful, awful penalty. Oh. Oh. It's a, a draw's good. But, oh. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Sorry, I should be banging the table with the microphone on. Ah, oh, it keeps the gap. It's all, it's all good, you know. Blah blah blah. Logically, yeah, that's a great result. All that good stuff. But ah, oh, how do we miss that penalty? Penalty agony. Ah, oh, who is our best penalty taker? Let's. I, I always forget to actually do this. He is our best penalty taker by by a distance. Oh, can't believe it. Right, we've got to get ourselves back up for the next game. It's also a massive game. We're playing Schalke. Right, let's do it. Oh, oh I still can't believe it. I can't believe that I have this game. Right, on to the next game. I'm still, I'm still, still like, I don't know how to feel. It's a weird one because like I would have jumped at that, a draw away to Juventus. I would have jumped on that before the game. And then three nil up, I was like cruising. Then three or I thought we were going to get beaten. And then we had a penalty. And it, it, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Oh, you know. Right, what the fuck are we doing now? Champions League. Right, get me here back in the game. Champions League, that's important, isn't it? I've heard. Okay. Mancini, you can get another game, but you got to come back. Um, sorry, Harry Owen. We need actual good players on the bench today. Um, Thomas Party can come in. He's had a little rest. The experience will do him good. Just a bit of resty rest. Uh, Lundberg is still playing sensationally at centre midfield. Strikers are... At are scoring goals, which is a, a big deal at the moment. B Belletti's wanted by Monaco. Udica's wanted by lots of play people. Kostov is wanted by Bournemouth. Rita's wanted by Marseille. 
Alvin Nini's wanted by <coughs> a bunch. <coughs> Muller is wanted by somebody. Oh, I don't know what to make of it, boys. I just, I'm still, I'm still gone, to be honest. I'm out. My brain's gone. Right, away. This is the away leg. Just get a cheeky away draw. They got Pochettino as their manager. Very decent manager. Good to test our skills. Oh, do we put? Yeah, we put Connor up in. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> oh, Marino's on television. Oh, I'm gutted. I've not got it muted because he would have been going <laughs> boo hoo boo 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 as Mourinho likes to do when he's not eye gouging people. He likes to whinge. Um, okay, let's just. I can't get my head in the game. Wait. Right. Okay. Champions League. <laughs> it's quite important. It's not like it's just some boring game. This is massive. <laughs> but I just don't care. I I've lost I've lost my mind. Right. Here we go, boys. Champions League. Woo! <sighs> it's hard it's harder to get excited when it's two legs as well, because there's no definitive answer unless we like beat of eight nil or something. Okay, Lundberg's book straight off the bat. Good start, boys. <clears throat> I'm just hoping the players aren't like me and have just lost the plot a bit. Want to see? Want to see a good result? Want to see an away goal? That is, <clears throat> my voice is gone. My voice is gone. All right, here we go. First highlight. Fifteen, fourteen minutes in. Like Connor up. Somebody even said in the comments, he says, so many of your moves start with Connor up. And they, and they do. It's scary. Like a lot of the time, you know, he's got a few goals and a, and a few assists. But he's not been like prolific. But he's always like the assist assist person, if if not the assister. You know what I meant. Like Lundberg, Belletti. Come on. Van Doom. Oh, he's rifled it in the top corner. Yeah, shocker against Juventus, but he's come back in style today. And it's his 12th of the season. Top scorer. What a hit, son. Who got the assist? Was that a Lundberg assist? There's a flare going off. No, it's a Belletti assist. Just dinks it. Oh, that is beautiful. <clears throat> That's the away goal. Massive. Right. It'd be nice if we could just kill him off this leg. And we play Owen in the second leg. That'd be hilarious. Connor up. Lundberg. Belletti. Belletti. Oh, that's a great save by Aziz. Aziz. Right. Van Doom. Gone to the back post this time. Something a bit different. Headed away clear. Anybody chasing that up? Could would they be on for a counter attack? Slow him down. Nice to Pascal's. You might have missed that penalty, mate, but that was a great interception. Oh. <clears throat> My voice has, is just disappearing. Right. They've not had a shot yet. And they're at home. These German teams are easy. Hopefully, like, you know, the, the, the other German managers will be watching this. Van Doom deflected in. I think that's his goal. I think it's not an own goal. It's just like it's going in the other corner. It is Van Doom's second of the game. All the other German managers should be on. German owners should be watching this. Yeah, we're dismantling one of your good teams. Just thought I'd let you know, you know, you might want to offer me a job. This is what we do. Off his arse as well. He's arsed it in. Sanchez with a great arse. A good left cheek finish. Right. Continue the dismantle, please. That's a lot of yellow cards. I'm a little bit worried about this. Both are fullbacks. They might bring Rito on at half time for De Pascal's. Somebody said in the comments, you should rename him De Pascal's because it's actually De, pa De Pascal's or Lis. <clears throat> and I just ignore it. But I've, now I've said it now, I can't. He's been that way for ages. Decent header back. That's lovely defending. Beautiful stuff. Playing it out. Cheeky. Cheeky. Let's not get overconfident, boys. De Vita. Nice. Connor up. Ball over the top to Van Doom. First time ball to Belletti. And Belletti fluffs it. But Connor up steals it back because that's just what he does. Belletti's got it. Drives forward. He's going to hit one. No, he threads Blanco. Surely Blanco! Get in there! Oh, it's over. It's over. Count him out, ref. It's over. He's basically on the canvas and I'm just dropping elbows <laughs> on his face. Just let it go. It's dead. I know what you're going to say at this. You're thinking at this point. Well, yeah, we were 3-0 up 
Last game. Yeah, but this feels different, right? And they're not Juventus. Right. Ah, oh, Jesus. What a game. What a day. This is... What an episode. <clears throat> it's good. Because normally you have these big episodes where really important games happen and then it's just like, oh, we got two nil-nil draws. That was exciting. No, not today. We're scoring a shit ton. We're con also conceding quite a few. Three... If we can keep... If, if it stayed like this, we are absolutely golden going into the second leg. I might even risk going. <coughs> Um, right, we need to get, okay, need to get rid of some of these yellow cards, please. Rita and De Pascals. Um, well done, boys. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have a lay down. I can't have a lay down because the actual real three o'clock kickoffs and Liverpool Arsenal soon. <clears throat> My voice is going. Sorry for all the clearing of throats, people. It's not very nice. Van Doom's on for a hat trick. Go on, I don't, I'm not sure if he scored a hat trick yet. Belletti threads him through. Van Doom's clear through, and he's fluffed it straight at the keeper. Unlucky, mate. That was your best chance. I'm going to try speeding it up a little bit. I know a few people have asked to speed it up a little bit. That doesn't feel any quicker. Um, get the between highlights thing going up. There we go, Van Doom. Manch okay. fuck, off, fuck off with your stupid end highlights. You should have a countdown. Ending highlight in three, two, one. Oh, I, just need, I just need to lie down. <sighs> Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I just need to rest. Okay, Rita. Floats one to the back post. Silver nods it down. Pedroshi's there. Van Doom for the hat trick. Oh, sorry, netting. <laughs> He's trying his hardest there. I think we can risk... Udica can come on for a bit. I'd like to give him a little bit of game time. I know, like, you know, it's it, it doesn't make the most sense buying a player for the future when you know you're only going to be there a season. But I, like I've said before, I like to leave the teams that I manage in good position. I want them to do well after I leave. Unless they fuck me over and then I'll just spend all their money and bankrupt them. But if they're just a good team, then I like to just try and leave them with a good team, some money in the bank. That's why I don't spend all this money and I've been trying to save the money all the time because I'm trying to dig them out of this financial hellhole that they're in. I think they've only got maybe a year or two left on this stupid loan debt, so that should help. Lundberg, Belletti, threads it through. Udica! Oh, decent. It's all right, mate. You're only young. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> oh, if we get number four, that's just disgusting. Rita just about keeps it in. Cheeky back heel. Pedroshi. Connor up! Oh, it's a right-footed volley! From Is there anything this man can't do? That is... A left back shouldn't be able to do that. I think it took a deflection, but it was still a damn good hit. Cheeky back heel to Pedroshi. And he dinks it up in the air, wraps his right foot around it. It's a heavy deflection, but ignore that. What a goal! It's 4 0, and Schalke are just distraught. We have came, we have saw, we have conquered you and teabagged your face. That's what we've done to you, Schalke. We are going <laughs> all over your face. Right. They can even they can score one now just for the fans, so they've got something to cheer about. You know, give them one. I was lying. I was lying. I don't want. Oh, that's annoying. I was bluffing. Well, well done, Shanka. I'm not even watching a replay. Who cares? Who cares? Um, we've made all our subs. Let's not concede another one, though. No. Okay. Connor up steals the ball as he always does. All highlights start with Connor up stealing the ball. Oh, don't go and score another one. It's too far back, surely. Yes, Connor up. Connor up's on the line defending now. What is this man? He's ridiculously. He's ridiculous. If if I need a left back at my new club and I've got money to spend, which I will, because I'm going to a rich club this time, I'm going to try and get Connor up. It's going to be a massive fight because all the big teams are after him. But we're going to get... He loves... To, I'm hoping... Oh, we'll have to check after the game to see if Connor up loves me. Because that would really help. Oh, what a... What a slide, Connor up. He does everything. All right, let's just let it play out. Nothing, no need to do anything. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, go on. Cheeky one. Cheeky one at the end. All scramble. Headed on. Oh, Aziz gets it. 
That was as easy. <laughs> there it is, boys. 4-1. What a result that is. Absolutely superb. Right. Ah, oh, the hood. That's the one Liverpool linked with in real life, isn't he? 22 million. Bargain. Right, Connor up. Do you love me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you love me? Yeah, yeah. Um, no. Let me praise him. Um, praise B to Connor up. Um, let's just wait until after the game properly. Right, there we go. Um, Van Doom, praise that goal scoring performance. Look at that hair. What is that on his head? What is that? He looks like Donald Trump's child. What is going on there, mate? Sort your, sort your hair out. Right. Um, let's just say how lovely I think you are. Thanks, boss. I'm pleased with... <laughs> yeah, he loved it. Yeah, he loved it. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, oh, oh. And that's what he's like. That's what we need to do. We need to we need to get on this by the end of the season. We need to be his favoured personnel. I don't care if I have to give him a hand job. We are going to get on Connor Up's favoured personnel list. Right, on the note of a hand job, we'll end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you're just a weird person because that was fucking brilliant. Look, six. Um, I can't do math. Eleven goals in two games. I think that's pretty damn good. And we've got one foot in the next round. Home leg against Schalke, we should be fine. We'll come back and play it, though, because uh, if if something happened and we lost and I didn't put it in a video, that would just make me cry. So we will come back for the Schalke-Sampdoria game. Hopefully, um, I don't care about the Tim Cup. Um, hopefully, Juventus will drop some points so we can get a bit of a gap going on them. Right, thank you very much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.